Hello, good evening, and welcome. It's iPhone Friday. I'm Bill Sklodowski, and tonight, uh, a user-suggested topic, how to use your phone to make really good and uh, really helpful scans of documents and pictures. But we'll talk about documents tonight, but you can try pictures on your own. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, really appreciate you being here with us. We're here every Friday evening. Uh, we're trying this 8 o'clock time slot to see how it works. Um, if this works for you, that's let me know. If it doesn't work for you, let me know that too. We kind of had been hit or miss with the times, and so I want to try and um, get it on at a regular time for uh, What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday are going to be uh, at 8 o'clock unless we think of something better, or there's this, you know, groundswell of <laughs> wanting it to be at a different time. So uh, every Wednesday and Friday, we talk about how to make your high-tech life easier, especially when it comes to things like your iPhone or iPad. And tonight, like we said, we're going to be using the iP uh, iPhone Notes app. It's exactly the same if you have an iPad, by the way. Uh, it works exactly the same on both how you can use it to scan documents and save them to your phone or your computer if you have a Mac as well. Actually, they even if you have a Windows computer, they show up there in uh, iCloud as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But a uh, big shout out tonight to uh, Linda who gave us this uh, suggestion for the uh, show. So let's dig right in. How to uh, take scans of documents with your phone using the Notes app. Now, for tonight... We have this uh, very impressive, very cool document. <laughs> Look, how to play pickleball. I also, did you know that? Did I, have I talked about that? That along with teaching high tech classes uh, at my local adult, uh, adult education program uh, where I live in Florida, I also teach pickleball. Go figure, right? But it's the coolest thing. If you haven't played pickleball yet, go look it up. Try YouTube, check it out. There's millions of videos and it's super cool. So anyway, that's our, the only reason we're using that is because it's the document we're going to scan tonight so I can show you how that works. So let's jump over to the phone and here we are. The Notes app, uh, if you have not played with it, on the bottom row there, the uh, yellow, uh, it kind of looks like one of those old school uh, legal pads, you know, with a, a yellow top and a striped paper on the bottom. So when you open that up, there you go. You get you you might have different folders like I have, or you might just have a folder that says all iCloud or notes. The top two there are the ones that usually come. You can create other folders to sort your notes into different things depending on how you uh, use them. And that's probably another program for another night. But for now, let's talk about scanning things. So you already saw our paper. We already have a piece of paper, right? A document. I just put it on that piece of cardboard there so I can prop it up in my lap here and, 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 and shoot it on it. So uh, again, with notes, all right, the ones that where it says all iCloud up at the top, by default, when you have notes on your phone, they're automatically synced to your iCloud account. So that if you have an iPad along with your phone or a Mac computer along with your phone, you can view those notes on any of the devices. And as soon as you create or edit a, a, a note wherever, let's say on your phone, and you go to look at it on your computer, well, those edits will be reflected immediately across. Kind of like, remember a few weeks ago, we did the Reminders uh, app where you can share reminders between people. Same exact thing with notes. When it comes to you make a change on your phone, it's going to show up everywhere else. Very cool. All right, let's dig right in. So if, you, uh, if you're new to notes, you'll need to start off by just tapping on one of the folders up at the top. Usually, like I said, that's going to be either all iCloud or notes. I just happen to have both. So I'm going to go to all iCloud and it's going to show all my notes that I have there. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of notes. All right. And then down at the very bottom of the list there is that little itty bitty, you can see it kind of down in the corner, hard to point, that little square with the pen on it. Oh, as my document goes overboard, hang on, hang on. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, I'm back, I'm safe, it's okay. Nothing, nothing to see here, folks. All right, tap on the square there with the pen on it and it will create a brand new note. Now, normally you would just start typing and the note would appear, but 
I'm going to do this with, with, with no typing because there's a really, really awesome feature in part in notes that I want to show you and it requires no typing. So what I'm going to do is you can see on the note there at the very bottom, the little toolbar right above the, uh, right above the letters, there's, uh, you know, the AA and the checkbox and the camera, camera, tap on the camera and it's going to offer you those choices. What do you want to do? You want to take a photo or a video, you want to go to the photo library or, and this is the one we're looking for, scan documents. Remember in the old days you had those big crazy scanners, you know, that you would, like some printers still have them. Like, you know, a printer scanner combo and you can put the page in it and it scans it. And forget about it. This is all you need now. So you tap on scan documents, okay, and what happens is, Look, it, it's set, well, I'm, look, I'm showing you the, there's, you know, the, there's my desk with my other pair of glasses. It's looking for a piece of paper. That's that yellow, you can barely see it, but it'll become more obvious when I get over a piece of paper. See, it's trying, it says move camera closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a position, the camera over the top of the paper. I am not going to push the button there to take the photo. So watch, I'm going to position it over the page and it, automatically finds it and I know you didn't hear it there but it made the sound of a photo being taken okay and it goes down into the corner look at the bottom look down there at the bottom left corner right so that's the picture it just took so now you have uh, you have some options you can take another one if there's a second page or whatever you can just flip the page and take another picture and it'll just keep adding them or you hit the save button over there at the bottom right. So let's do that. I'm gonna tap on save, and there it is. It says scanned documents. See at the top where it says scan documents? And look at what it just did. Did you see that? It was quick. I should have done it faster. It changed from scanned document to how to play pickleball. It read the headline on the document. How cool is that? <laughs> it actually read the title, and it made it the title of the note. So now I'm gonna hit the button up at the very top that says all iCloud, and so it goes back to my list of notes. And I go to the top, and there's how to play pickleball, right? So all I need to do now, and it actually shows you a little like thumbnail, a little picture there. So if I tap on it, it goes to the note, okay? So that's super cool, but wait, <laughs> as we say in the infomercial world, but wait, there's more. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this thing away so I don't make a mess here and drop anything again. All right, hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. Dropped it. So now if I were to open the notes app again, all right, let's get off of that note. All right. If I were to open the notes app and I'm like, gee, I, I think I have that document on how to play pickleball. Right. And I wanted to either share it or print it or send it to somebody or do something like that. But, you know, maybe I don't remember or I was wanting to know, uh, I, I don't remember the title of it. Now, this one, it just so happened to put a title. But it's like, oh, it talked about how to serve in pickleball, what the lines, how that works, all that stuff. So you can search within a scanned document. What does that mean? That means if I open up notes again and I go up to the very top. Now, if you don't see that search bar, see where it says search, very top. If you don't see that search bar, you just have to pull down on the screen. Just swipe down a little bit and it will appear, the search, okay? So for example, I know that that how to play pickleball document had some information about how to serve or you know how to keep score or whatever. So if I were to just, for example, type, tap on the search bar and type in serve, look what happens. It finds the how to play pickleball note and then when I tap on it, it opens it up and that's the one because somewhere in there, all right, somewhere in there is the word serve. It scans the document and it reads the document and knows what's in it in just a few seconds after you've taken the picture. If that's not the coolest thing, I don't know what is. So anyway, <laughs> now, once you have it, you know, in your document or in your notes, of course, you know, you always can go back, you can edit it, you can use it like a picture, you can do just about anything you want with it, right? So just keep in mind that once you have it into notes, you can do all kinds of things with it, including, by the way, at the bottom down there, you see, there's all the regular editing features that you can do, right? So, you know, I could, I could flip it 
I could turn it if it's a picture, right? I might have to turn it. I'm tapping, I'm tapping on that third little icon down there that shows the square er, with the arrow, the arrow around it, right? Tap, turn, turn, turn. Um, or I could trash it. There's the trash can there if I want to get rid of it, right? If I wanted to crop it and zoom in and out on a certain spot, I can drag the corners there. That's Another lesson for another day, believe me, there's a lot that you can do with that. But the most important thing is once you scan it, it will remember, not remember, it will recognize all of the text in it so that if you don't even remember what it was that you scanned, but it was like, oh, it had something to do with, well, obviously the title of the, this, this document was how to play pickleball. So if I were to look for pickleball, it would find it by the title. But even if you don't have a title on it, if it's just a scanned document with no title, or you're looking for some specific information within the scanned document, it will find it just by reading what's already in the document itself. So again, super, super cool. All right. It's going to do it for today. That was a kind of quick, but I'm trying to make them short, sweet, and to the point as we go here. And like I said, uh, shout out to uh, Linda for suggesting that topic. We really appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, or there's something you would like to learn more about with your iPhone or iPad, well, please feel free to get in touch. If you're watching this live on Facebook, I appreciate it. Stop by and say hi. Drop a comment underneath. If you're watching it on the blog, uh, if you're watching it on the YouTube channel, no matter what, I read and respond to all the comments out there. Now, if you haven't done so yet, do this. Head over to the website, BillSklodowski.com, and sign up for the free newsletter. And uh, today's Friday, so coming out Sunday, uh, if you sign up on, uh, you know, between now and Sunday, when the new newsletter, when the new edition comes out, what you'll get, it's totally free and just one email a week, so you're not going to get bombarded by stuff. But we send out a recap every weekend of the videos, the two videos that came out this past week. So it'll tell you what the Wednesday video was, the What's New Wednesday, and the iPhone Friday video, what that was, this one that you're watching right here, and how you can watch them on the blog if you missed it live on Facebook. And also there will be a handout. There's always a free handout of how to do the thing we talked about on the iPhone Friday. You know, it's just a couple of pages, but you can print it out and save it and start a collection, put them in a binder like I do, and then you'll have them to, you know, use for a reference. And you get that also in the weekly recap email. So again, stop over to the blog, BillSklodowski.com, and just hit that click me button there. And uh, it will uh, take you over to our sign up page where you can do exactly that, which is to sign up for the weekly, weekly recap newsletter. Try saying that fast five times. All right. It's going to do it. I hope you had a good week. Stay safe out there. Keep washing those hands. And uh, we will see you again next week for another edition of What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye-bye.